I'm Sebastian Fuller, and I am a senior researcher um, at the Health Systems Collaborative. I'm a social scientist. Um, I have a background in community-based behavioral health research, um, and uh, now I work on understanding the implications of new technologies in healthcare as part of uh, my health systems research. I have a history of working with industry and other collaborators in clinical services, uh, as well as um, uh, community services, so uh, all different kinds of stakeholders in the, specifically around the development and implementation and evaluation of new diagnostics for sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Um, so I do a number of different projects that are looking specifically at that. Two of the projects that I'm working with um, involve my collaboration with the World Health Organization, and I've worked with them to develop a um, protocol for the implementation of new diagnostics into sexual health services around the world. And one is in Malta, so I'm working with the Ministry for Health there, and they are looking at expanding their reproductive and sexual health services, um, especially looking at the provision of diagnostics, including point of care diagnostics in general practice surgeries in order to serve their growing migrant population. So I'm working with the ministry there and also with clinics and other healthcare providers and some NGOs to understand how we can best implement that program of expansion, as well as looking at um, how it can be evaluated to understand if it should be further expanded beyond, beyond the two or three centers that we're starting with. So the other project that I'm working with is with a DPhil student in Zambia, and she is looking at the expansion of sexual and reproductive health care services across Zambia and whether or not diagnostics um, for STIs might play a key role in that expansion of services um, to really widen the provision um, across the nation or with key special interest groups. Some of the questions that we have to answer are, one is about the clinical impact of point of care tests for STIs. And that's really looking at the implications of using these rapid tests and expanding diagnostics more generally. Um, and a key consideration there is antimicrobial resistance, especially around gonorrhea infections. Then the second aspect of my work that's a really big question in the field is around the um, the implementation of these tests and how to be able to do that sustainably and at scale. Um, and trying to really square the circle around being able to create a program of implementation that works across different contexts, but is still localizable enough to make sense within each of these local contexts. The work that I do makes a difference to patients because um, it is looking at expanding services. Um, right now, a lot of the sexual health services and STI testing that happens is done um, not with diagnostics. So what they do is what's called syndromic treatment. And syndromic treatment means that we look for the clinical signs and symptoms of an infection. Many STIs are not actually symptomatic. So about half of them are people that are infected don't have any symptoms. And then um, the, those that do have symptoms, often these STIs have similar symptoms. So it can be very difficult to know what to treat them with because each of these infections needs to be treated differently. Um, so it's about providing the right treatment at, for the right infection at the right time for patients. There's a lot of reasons why we need to expand these services. You know, um, I think that especially with the growing threat of antibiotic resistance, it's important that we really understand what role diagnostics can play in the fight against antimicrobial resistance for, for example, gonorrhea infections in the field of sexually transmitted infections. There's a lot that we need to know too about the implementation of new technologies in healthcare and specifically around diagnostics that aren't known. Um, and so ideas such as how to be able to implement things in which contexts, 
what that means within the local context, how to bring about change um, is really understudied and um, and also underreported. So um, that's a really big question mark that we have in our field. And I think it deserves more focus and attention.